Hi, my name is Peace George. I am a speaker, trainer, coach, member of the Jen Maxwell team. I am also an author of the books, Fierce and A Glimmer of Hope. I am very happy most of you are buying my books and I appreciate that. I just wanted you to know. I got a message through the back channel on Clubhouse. Someone was asking me how can I turn my life around after being stagnant for so long? How can I turn my life around? We've all been there, right? It's just that we've been stagnant for different reasons. For some, it's um, life just dishing them a huge blow. For others, it's just um, them really slipping into a bad habit. So you need to figure out which one your own is right if it's a particular habit that you slipped into because you see people passively living their lives intentionally passively living their lives and just believing this um kisara sara what will be will be and they're not just out there and just making things happen so if that's why you slipped into that stagnant state you need to check it you need to check the habits and if it's not if it's life that just puts you there um, I need you to think about what exactly is limiting you and be ready to break away from that. Um, no matter what cost it, just know that living life passively does not help anyone. It doesn't help anyone at all. You also have to know that if you're not ready to quit, nothing is going to change. So I'm really happy that you asked me that question. Yeah. I'm here to help. So how can you make things different for you? Uh, so you've been in this stagnant state. Like I said, I've been there too. How to make things different is to do something different. Take control of your life. Stop living that passive life and stop. And start living an active life. What do I mean by an active life? You have to define what is most important to you in the world. What is important to you? Think about it define that and it helps to figure out who you are um what you like to do and just start to shape yourself and your reality based on that start to figure out what your x factor is what's that thing that when you do people are like whoa wow Ooh, we love it you know because the truth is it's purpose that fails motivation so if you can tilt towards what you do easily, what you love to do, and find your purpose in that. You are naturally motivated. For instance, I love public speaking. And so when I became a public speaker, nobody begged me to do, get gigs. No matter how tired I'm, I am, was I hear about gigs, you know, I get motivated because it's something I've always loved. Secondly, learn to master your mind, master your mindset. Your mind is a very powerful seat of emotion and it's ready to suck anything in. So you have to be in control of your mind. Ask yourself, are my thoughts on my side? Think about it. Are your thoughts on your side? Are you experiencing self-sabotage? Think about those things because you are what you think. You're here because of your choices and your choices are a result of your thoughts. What are your highest impact habits? What are those micro habits that you have that can help you produce results? So think of those things that you can change just by repeated actions. I love to write, but I don't like to just when I started, I couldn't just write like all this would. I didn't start out as a pro. So I started to write habitually a um, hundred words a day. I made sure that, you know, this was a goal that I met. And then I increased it 200, 300, 400, 500. And we're doing just fine. So micro habits. And then you tend to make them mega as you go along the way.
another thing is to have a to-do list it makes your day easier when you have a to-do list you you're not mentally drained just thinking of what to do i don't know if this applies to everyone but to me as a mother if i just write down all the things i want to do i do not force myself to finish doing them but at least there's a goal for me to meet it makes my life easier that way rather than thinking oh what am i supposed to do and then at night i start to regret oh i didn't do this you know and then i'm stuck again in the same cycle so break that cycle write down have your goals and make them any productive day is created consciously know that so another thing is not to do what average people do but you have to first of all Convince yourself that you're not average, you're not different, you're extraordinary, okay? So you do the things that extraordinary people do. This kind of thing helps you to elevate your thinking, right? And give you that adaptive resilience to, for you to just know that, okay, there may be a hundred women going through what I'm going through, but I'm different. I am unique in every way. I am extraordinary. And then you elevate your actions that way. Now listen, whatever it is you're avoiding in your life, your secret, the secret to your success lies in it. And that's probably why you're avoiding it. So think about those things you're really avoiding. Try to see why you're avoiding them. Is it because it's hard? Is it because it hurts you? Um, does it remind you of a past trauma? Think about these things and convert your pain to purpose. Find your boundary. Push it. Find your comfort zone, put a line, and deliberately cross that comfort zone. That takes you out of your box automatically. More than anything else, know that you can do it and you will do it. And that's all that matters. You can do it, you will do it. Okay? If I could do it, then you can. Thank you so much. For